Good evening, everybody. Much more. Good evening. This evening, competent communicator Jokan Hamlin will be presenting his advanced communication drones project number seven from the advanced communication series speaking to inform project number three, the demonstration talk. The objectives of this project is he is to prepare a demonstration speech to clearly explain a process, product or activity, to conduct the demonstration as part of a speech delivered without the notes, and he has five to seven minutes. Go to you. Thank you. <laughs> Olive oil. 
Some people may say olive oil is not supposed to be heated up, but actually olive oil can take a lot of heat. About whatever you have on the stove, don't worry, it won't go that hot, right? So olive oil first, and then you take the garlic that you just crack this now, and put it in pot. <laughs> Throw it in. So you fry your garlic. What you want is the garlic to become brown, okay? Brown is garlic. So as long as the garlic is brown, then you add some chili, okay? You can also try dry chili. You can use chili pati, dry chili, whatever you want. For this one, I use some dry chili, chop it up, and throw it in, okay? So you in the oil, and what you're gonna get is some sort of some so you're gonna get some sort of paste like this, okay? With your garlic and your oil, right? So that is your base. Now, what you do is, so you have basically a paste here. What you do is you take out your cooked spaghetti. Yes. And then you put it there and you mix it up. All you need to do is just mix it up. So once you started mixing up, you've already got the base of aglio olio. Right? So just to repeat the steps. Boil your spaghetti, cook your spaghetti as the way you want it. Some, most of us will take it al dente, which is a bit chewy. Then once you drain that, you put your, you prepare your garlic, throw your garlic in, take it, take it for it to brown, put in your chili, right? Then you have a paste. You take some of the stock as well to add on in the in the paste, and then you add the spaghetti. Then you just mix it. The color will change because of the chili. So you, as you notice, it's not so white as this, right? because of the chili and the sauce that we have already. Now, one of the varieties I did was, this is already pre-cooked. So now your, your spaghetti is done. What you need to do at this level is you have a global fire. Oops, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you go to a global fire, okay? Actually, the pot is hot enough so you can do. Take out the tomato, sun dry, sun, uh, sorry, tuna. <laughs> sun dried tomato, slice this, all you need to do is mix it. That's all. You don't have to cook it. Okay? So once you do this, your, your dish is basically done. Then it's just topping and I also add cheese. So in this one, you have cheese, pasta in the topping, you have sun dried tomatoes and tuna as the customized variation. Okay? Uh, to, of course, because we're all Malaysian, we have the Tabasco ready as well. So you for you to have that. Right? What other variations are there? In Pizza Hut, I tried once before. The first time I tried aglio olio was in Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut has seafood aglio olio, if some of you remember, which was prawns and mussels in okay, the same thing. So you can actually put other meats. I've actually tried this with smoked beef as well. So it's a very versatile dish. It's only the base that the garlic, olive oil, spaghetti is the one you need to do. The rest is just add the mix. Right? So, I know this is more spaghetti, but if you really enjoy the spaghetti and you want to really learn how to do this, for the Shrepa ladies, please ask your husbands to call me. <laughs> I will teach them how to be an obedient husband. For the guys, yeah. <laughs> for the guys you can talk later. <laughs> Over to you.